Hey there guys, this is Ari from Wirefly.com and I'm taking a look at the Samsung Solstice which is now available for AT&T and as you're watching if you feel so compelled please remember to uh, go ahead and click subscribe subscribe to Wirefly and if you want you can also follow me on Twitter at Wirefly underscore Ari and getting back to the Solstice which is effectively a newer version of the Samsung Eternity, both devices for AT&T. And you can see that the uh, Solstice is a little bit smaller than the Eternity, but not very much so. It is more rounded, so it appears a little bit smaller, but certainly different styling. And the other big difference is the uh, Solstice has added a couple new widgets. So not too much tremendous difference between the two devices, but uh, just looking at the hardware, I actually like the design of the Eternity a little bit better. You can see that with the Solstice, Samsung has replaced the uh, uh, brush metal looking backing with this faux leather backing, but still a very nice looking phone and the backing here really provides for a very nice grip and the phone slides nicely into your pocket. So on the front you have a 3 inch resistive touch screen meaning a little bit of pressure needs to be applied to uh, affect action on the screen and uh, the screen is a little bit smaller than the 3.2 inch screen that's on the Eternity although both devices have a 240 by 400 resolution screen so both phones very nice and crisp screens and if we flip it over here on the left you have a volume rocker and then on the right you have uh, again Samsung's uh, proprietary jack there for charging and syncing and also accepts a pair of included headphones although there's no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack anywhere on the phone which is uh, disappointing, but we've come to get used to that. And of course you can use a pair of Bluetooth headphones with the Solstice's uh, stereo Bluetooth feature. And on the back you have a 2 megapixel camera. And the 2 megapixel camera is instead of the 3.0 megapixel camera on the Eternity, so a little bit of a downgrade as far as camera goes but still takes pretty decent pictures not quite as sharp as on the Eternity but still really not bad and also on the back below the battery is a micro SD card slot for expandable memory and like I said the biggest part of the Solstice that's changed from the Eternity is a few new widgets. So you have most of the old ones. You have your digital uh, clock widget, analog clock, a world clock, picture widget, also new in this, a favorites widget, so quick access to web browsing favorites, a birthday reminder widget, so add in birthdays for your contacts and be reminded when they're coming up. Calendar. Here's a messaging widget which is also new. Just tap that to uh, begin composing a new message. You can see in portrait mode you can uh, type a message using T9 so we'll just say hello really quickly. But then probably preferably you can uh, turn it into landscape mode and then you have access to the full QWERTY keyboard. A Bluetooth widget. You also have a new favorite contacts widget. So basically a customizable list of your favorite contacts. Probably the biggest new feature here is voice recognition. Say a command. So you have voice recognition by nuance and you don't need to actually train the voice recognition. You can just go ahead and uh, 
Sadie name or number of a contact to dial that automatically. Unfortunately, there's no hardware key for quick access, so you have to use the widget on the screen. But uh, you can also check the status of things like signal strength or battery level using your voice. So a nice feature right there. Here's a shortcut to AT&T's mobile navigator which is turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions, although there is a extra monthly fee for use with the turn-by-turn -turn directions. And another set of new widgets, you have your social networking widgets. Um, unfortunately, while I was somewhat expecting some sort of integration, they really are just a shortcut key, so it just launches your uh, mobile version of Facebook here instead of incorporating some sort of information downloaded from Facebook like new messages, friend, re friend requests, that kind of thing. And then you have a uh, shortcut to Yahoo, Yahoo search, and of course your music widget. So we'll jump into that. You have your standard music options can create playlists on the fly. And also a new video widget, which is basically a shortcut to your videos folder. And the camera on the back uh, does support video capture and you have support for AT&T's video share service so you can stream live video to friends and family. There's your web browser shortcut. We'll go to YouTube. I'll show you how you can uh, watch streaming video. We get a lot of questions on whether or not you can uh, see streaming video, so I figure I will show you. We'll uh, pull up this video, what would Elvis do? You can see we're in YouTube Mobile Edition here online. And streaming over AT&T's 3G network. What would I do today? I wonder. And a very capable browser here on the Solstice. You have your Google search here, also one-touch shortcutting, so if I want to add a shortcut to YouTube, just click that, and it'll be added to my favorites. There's your home key. And you can also use the volume rocker here on the side to zoom in and out on pages. And then you use your finger to drag around on the screen, and you can see the small preview window there in the bottom left, which shows you exactly where you are on the screen. So, a very good web browsing experience there. And if we get into the full-blown menu, check out the messaging menu. You can see uh, AT&T's mobile email service, which does offer a limited mobile email to a number of popular online providers. So you can see that list there. There is some uh, providers conspicuously missing, like Gmail, which would have been good to see. So fairly limited email support. Yeah, that. Also built-in support for AIM, Windows Live, and Yahoo Messengers. Again, no Google Talk. And you'll notice that while there is still singular video, there's no support for AT&T's mobile TV service in the Solstice, although there was in the Eternity. A pretty uh, fair share of pre-installed games. You also have tumbling dice to show off the accelerometer. Some pre-installed applications as well. And you can get more games and applications from AT&T's App Center right there. And then a number of tools as well. 
So there's a memo pad, tasks list, your calculators, units converter, timer, stopwatch. So a nice number of added features here on the Solstice as well. I'm Ari at Wirefly.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to check us out next time.